All right, everybody, this is Ross. In today's video, we're gonna look at the Gumi. We're gonna do a taste test. I'm gonna tell you guys exactly how I think these Gumis taste. And then we're also gonna look at them at different stages because I have, I have these Gumi berries in different stages here uh, that determine really the flavor. It's kind of like a persimmon, I like to think about it as, is that a persimmon has enough different stages of ripeness that it's almost like a completely different fruit at different different points. So the same thing with the Gumi berry here is that uh, it really does sort of mellow out as it gets more ripe. And we'll get into the, more of the details on that. But first, let me just do a little bit of a harvest here. Um, I'm going to harvest today the remaining uh, berries that are on this plant simply because we've gotten um, something is coming in here and actually getting underneath the net. I have a bird net over top of this and they are uh, indeed eating the berries. And uh, I've noticed some sort of damage on some of them and uh, the reason why I haven't harvested them sooner is simply because I like to let them dry up on the plant. And if you can get them to do that, well, you'll actually get, as I said, different, uh, a different flavor experience, a different experience overall, because when the berry, the gumi berry dries up on the plant, it really gets that name of gumi, right? So it's supposed to taste like a gummy bear. And uh, the flavor is sort of similar to a gummy bear, but in reality, when it dries up on the, uh, on the tree here, on the bush, it actually um, gets the consistency of that gelatin that you would find in a gummy bear. So I'm picking just a bunch of these fruits here. Um, really easy to pick these, by the way, because they have such a long stem um, that it's really easy just to yank them off. Now, it would be nice if you could just as an example, excuse me guys, if you could just shake these guys off and you'd be maybe even uh, an easier way to harvest them, but uh, I don't think that's necessarily possible. They're pretty firmly attached to the plant. And um, I had a really good harvest this year. I've been eating these guys off of the, the bush for a few weeks now. Um, you know, today is, I think, the 27th or the 28th. Yeah, today's the 28th of June, and we're doing a full harvest here on the 28th of June, and I believe they started sometime in early June, um, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, that's a pretty good amount of harvest, pretty lengthy um, time there. For any of you guys that are backyard growers, that's kind of what we want, right? We don't want all the fruit at once. And therefore, I think uh, gets even more points for that. It's, it really has become, if you haven't seen my other videos on the Gumi, we've talked a lot about the characteristics, the growing characteristics, what I think about it. Uh, it is really become one of my favorite fruits. I always enjoy coming out here and actually eating these. I eat these every day, uh, basically, since early June. So I got myself a little bit of a harvest here. We're going to go through the fruits and we're going to then uh, show you at different stages what these guys look like and how they taste at different stages. So here's our little harvest here. Not bad. Uh, we still have more to go on the plant but I figured for the sake of this video and you can see some of them are getting some holes in them and I just really do think that something is getting after these berries. I've seen enough berries, the pits actually on the grounds and that to me is a sign that we gotta get in here and harvest. I don't know what's getting after them. Weird bite marks. Um, but yeah, so that's what we're doing. Alright, so let's get you one that looks very red and there's some in here that are not just yet ripe so you'll get an idea of what those sort of taste like because as the berry ripens Um, it loses a lot of some of that really harsh flavor that it may have. So I would describe the Gumi Berry here as a bit um, tart, a little bit sour, uh, sweet, a lot like fruit punch. 
I guess this is a pretty decent representation here of the different stages that you guys can uh, get a good visual of here. So we have two berries here in the front. Let me just see how well you guys can see this. Yeah, let's zoom in even further, I think. All right, that's as far as we can go. But these two berries in the front are still a bit orange and still a bit hard. I imagine these didn't really ripen that well. Uh, they're probably not ripe that much at all, to be honest with you. Um, maybe there was some sort of issue with these two berries because the rest of the bush is completely red now. But as the, the berries are ripening, they turn from a bronze to a green to then to this orange here. And then they go from this orange to a red, a lighter red. And then they get really plump and they turn into a, a dark red like this or a bright red like this. And then once they go from this bright red state here that has a lot of juice in it, they start to dry up on the plant as you can kind of make out with these berries. They're a bit wrinkled. Uh, they're starting to have more of that gummy bear consistency that gelatin that I was talking about and uh, yeah they have different flavors at different times so let's try one of these that are probably not that ripe maybe it didn't ripen well at all and I'll tell you what I I'm get picking up from this guy yeah so one's actually pretty good um, I do like them at different stages but these more underripe berries are quite astringent not enough astringency that you would think, oh no, I don't want to ever eat that. It's like a, a little bit of shot of astringency that I think really gives it another, another complexity to the food. Um, it doesn't dry out your whole mouth, obviously. Again, it's just a touch of astringency in these underripe berries. They're a little sour, they're, uh, they're tart, and they are sweet. And they do remind me of, uh, of some kind of berry flavor, kind of like a red currant. Uh, maybe a little bit like cherries, a little bit like uh, fruit punch, like an artificial fruit punch, you know, like Hawaiian punch as an example. Maybe a little bit of uh, different mixed berries. Then we have here the, the plumper version. And these can get really big. They get bigger in size, I find, as they reach this point. This is probably the biggest size that you'll find. And again, they're on this particular variety, it's really the size of, uh, well, the tip of my pinky is probably a good estimate there, if that makes any sense to any of you guys out there. Um, so they're a pretty good sized fruit, I find. Um, so let's eat this now, tell you guys what they taste like. So that's very good. The astringency almost goes away completely. So as they ripen, the astringency goes away. Um, the tartness goes away and the sourness goes away. And you're left with a lot of the sweet and a lot of that berry flavor that I was mentioning. So uh, you still can pick up some of that, but not nearly as much. Now, if we eat some of these dried berries here or semi-dried berries, hopefully these guys are not fermented at this point. See, when you squeeze them like that, you can really tell that the juice is just pouring right out of them. Doesn't look that appetizing, does it? Now, I just ate that outer part to show you that this inner part is indeed starting to dry up and is indeed turning into that gummy bear. This is more, this is a very different texture. The texture before is very juicy. Um, it's extremely juicy. So what you end up seeing is um, almost like a explosion of juice in your mouth. The texture on these is really not, it's kind of like a water balloon in a way of juice. Like that's kind of how I think of it. There's very little fiber, very little, um, texture to really speak of other than the skin the skin's really nice and the skin can be I guess maybe put some people off in a way but um, 
what you'll end up seeing, I guess, with these is that as they start to dry, they get this texture to them, like I said, as like a gummy bear. And this is definitely very sweet, very good. Brings on a completely different berry flavor than actually this state here. So um, quite interesting how the fruit changes like this. And that's why I kind of regard it as a persimmon in the same way is that the persimmon really changes as it gets more ripe. Um, so there you go, guys. That's a pretty good photo, I think, of the different... Well, <laughs> let me see if I can... The, the camera is so zoomed in here that you guys probably haven't been getting the best picture of this. Whoop. So there you go. There's the different stages of the gumi berry. Really cool fruit, guys. I really highly recommend it. A big fan of these berries. And uh, again, here's our little harvest that we did. Still got plenty more to pick. And overall, I've been uh, getting my fill of these berries and I would like to have even more of them um, to bring them inside the house, believe it or not. Um, and then to actually dry them and then have them, you can have them pretty much all year as a gummy bear, right? Instead of growing to, uh, to the candy store, picking up some gummy bears, you got some really incredible gummy berries. So, um, yeah, thank you guys here so much for, for watching this one and sticking with us. Uh, I would like to talk more about the gummy berry because it has become one of my favorite fruits. We did a couple videos now on them. I think I'll do one more video on propagating because uh, it is difficult to propagate them. We're going to do some air layers, and I need some rooting hormone before I can uh, complete that. But uh, we want to have a number of these plants throughout the yard. Um, I know they do get some pretty good size to them eventually, but um, you can keep them in check, I find, at least so far I've been able to. And that way we can have some more smaller gummy berry plants around the yard. Um, but yeah, thank you guys. If you enjoyed this one, check out our blog, figboss.com. Check out our other videos on Gumi. And uh, you can even, if you're interested, see our other videos that we've done on different fruits that we grow. So yeah, thank you guys here so much for watching this one. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you guys soon. Take care.